27 years ago, my only son committed suicide with drugs, and my life took the road less traveled. I was a therapist in LA, and I had several other therapists say to go to the Esalen Institute, where I went, and I thought I was going to be there five days, but I saw there was a creativity and healing workshop for a month where you worked and you took course, and this was created during that. It's my representation of my grief and my healing through art. In the transition of dealing with grief, one has to look at themselves and rediscover who they are and what they are. So this is my exploration of myself, my chakras, my inner child, and my public image. Life in Big Sur was very interesting. It was magical, it was depressing, it was exciting, it was exhilarating. There was love, there was betrayal, and there was interstellar communication. My inner hippie came back out and I was able to learn more validity and comedy in doing some stand-up there. Life on the Ridge was about crying, dancing, movement, and painting. And I would do all three at the same time. This is an example of dancing bodies in space. Aloha, I'm Mermeen, the mermaid crone, and this is my self-portrait. Of course, mermaids were born with me when I first moved to Maui in a vision painting workshop. My art is born from the inside out. These mermaids all in here are imaginary. They came from within me. And as you can see, I like jewels and glitter and beads. I'm kind of a glitzy girl. Mauiana and more mermaids. This was my first one. It took me nine months to birth that little beach painting. Here's a little mermaid. She might be the second one I ever did after the dream one. And of course I had to start doing mermaid crones for all we elder mermaids. And I really am fond of, has a special place in my heart, this goddess reclining. And it just warms my heart to see it. When I was turning 70, which I wasn't sure I'd make, because 10 years before they carried me off a cruise ship and I almost died, I decided to have a survival party, almost like a living memorial. I survived the 60s, not just the 1960s. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So, the paintings I did for my big 70th with 150 people was the dragon, which represents independence, power, fire, all things I've striven for in my life. And I've done a lot of snakes. If you notice, there's snakes in almost many of my pieces of art. And that's what they represent. And here I am, the birthday girl at the circus, in my fantasy of my little girl, standing on a birthday cake with her animal friends. So, my abstract color burst art was born at the Hui in a workshop I was told to take by several artists several years ago, and that's what got me into the Enchantress Gallery by Bootsy at the Shops of Wailea. They loved my colorful abstract and collage of my photography and my silks. The mini version of this was the first painting I sold at the new gallery. I wanted to say, you've all heard of Hurricane Hermine? Well, this is my Hurricane Hermine number one. I'd like to show you these two abstracts. Actually, what I love sometimes is just putting paint out, not knowing what's gonna happen, and seeing what I see. See, there's a bunch of animals and people. So, the last of my abstract art I wanna share with you today is actually represents my love of color, texture, and shape. And if you notice, there's a lot of snakes. Remember, snakes and dragons is a theme in my art. If you're interested in my art or me, you could follow me on Instagram at hermine.harman.art or sign up for my newsletter at hermine.haha at google.com, gmail.com, actually. Aloha from Maui.